Hi and welcome to another edition of Onside SA. We're going to be talking about local football. We're also going to be talking about what's happening in the Nations Cup, eh, Budge? Yeah. And of course the MLS. But uh, let's just talk about the big match that was played uh, yesterday with Cape Town Spurs. Yeah. Well, Marisburg had to win. Fortunately, they threw the kitchen sink second half, ended 0-0. So Cape Town Spurs come up, Marisburg get relegated. So and, and uh, the third team won the, lo the lower league, or did Cape Town Spurs win the lower Cape league? Cape Town finished second. Polokwane won the league, so they got automatic promotion. Oh, so, so it's the second and yes. third. Them okay. and Kazrik Stars played okay. Maritzburg. But you know, in fairness to uh, Cape Town Spurs, they did beat Maritzburg 1-0 at home, drew away. Sean Bartlett. So, uh, Sean Bartlett, so uh, good luck to him. And, good luck uh, to him, yeah. So, there, there was uh, Cape Town Spurs and now coming up to the top league. Now, Nation League semi final. I watched the highlights, I didn't yeah. watch the game. Uh, is, was Steve watching it? Well, I don't know, maybe he was in flight, so. Uh, yeah, he could have been eating Madeira cake or yeah. something. <laughs> Steve, are you there? I'm here, good morning. You know, I just saw highlights. I got back uh, in, when it was extra time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, good win. Good win for Croatia. Two penalties. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, you, you just think people sort of write them off and they look. you look at the team and they've got so many players, 30 and above. But Modric is like a Duracell bunny. I mean, he never 37 years old. I saw a stat. He's played 63 games in the last calendar year. I mean, unbelievable. Just, yeah, fantastic. You know, the, the, guy, the guy's got a, a, a real engine. Yeah, yeah shouldn't have gone an extra time because uh, Holland or the Netherlands scored yeah. last kick of the game, but uh, deserved win in my opinion. The first penalty Croatia got, Modric nipped in. I thought that was soft, yeah. the second one, but uh, you know, good luck to him. I like Croatia, Paul. Yeah, and that like Brozovic them, yeah. in the middle of the park, he's top class, they're, that they're, guy. They're a good team. Uh, How about Spain, Italy? That's tonight. Steve, which way do you see it going? I like Spain and the two teams. I haven't been impressed with Italy, but you never know yeah, with Spain. I, I, yeah, I mean, it's. it's Italy are side, I mean, you're not sure. I mean, obviously, they've had a few players that have been involved in uh, European finals in the last week or so. So you just wonder, you know, if they've, if they've got the... Uh, yeah, I fancy Spain. I, th I think they're slight favourites for me. Um, but overall, I fancy Croatia. They've never won a major tournament. They've come close, and I yeah. think this maybe this is their time. Well, okay. Let's hope it is. So, yeah. Let's hope so for them, yeah. All right, so the Steve, finals on Sunday. Finals on Sunday. Yeah, the third and fourth playoffs, uh, I think, a couple of hours before. Oh, so, okay, same day. Same yeah, day. So normally they played on the Saturday, the yeah. day before. And I know both teams, the more than likely rotate, well, knowing the Netherlands, Koeman's in charge. Yeah. I wasn't impressed with the Netherlands. You look at the, the players on there, a lot of no-name brands, but uh, I'm glad for Croatia. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah, go to the, the, the Euro group. Euro, players. Steve, I hope you got your thinking cap on because uh, I think there's some good bets this weekend. But... Uh, I've limited to some of the teams. Yeah, England are one to fifty, and France are one to hundred. So I've gone with the bettings are like four to ten, five to ten, and upwards. But we kick off on uh, Friday. The first game up is Finland versus Slovenia. How do you see it going? Well, um, yeah, I mean, it's a bit start. They've won both their games. Uh, Finland sort of won one, lost one. I'm not quite sure that I'd make Finland sort of their favourites. Yeah. As a leader or a different side. So uh, I think that's going to be a lot, lot closer. I, I can see Slovenia getting something there. Yeah, I think the draw is the six player. o'clock Friday. Six o'clock Friday. Yeah, Timmy Pukki's always scored a few goals for Phil. I think there'll be goals, but yeah. I like the draw of the two teams. Now the Belarus Israel game has been played in Hungary. So uh, anybody has doubts, obviously Belarus, war-torn country next to Russia and the Ukraine. I think Israel will destroy them. Steve, how do you see it? I think they will. I mean, Israel haven't had the best start. They, they've got one point from the two games. Yeah. Belarus have been uh, sort of fairly, fairly well beaten, particularly by uh, Switzerland. I think Israel will go there and get a result. Yeah, neutral venue obviously doesn't help Belarus for me all over Israel. I'm all over Denmark, Northern Ireland, I think are a poor team. Okay. Can't see. I know since Carl Lafferty retired, that's been them Lafferty. gone. Paul. She, they're not but, the same uh, side. Denmark, yeah. best bit of all. He's boots up at the tender. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I mean, look, Northern Ireland and the players they have available. And, uh, you know, what did well in the previous campaign, I think Denmark are going to be too strong. You know, Denmark have lost one already in this group. So I think... 
Yeah. They can't afford to lose a slip up. I think yeah. they'll win comfortably. Yeah. It's 28 to 10, over two and a half goals, both teams to score. No, that would be my play in that particular game. But they got beat in Kazakhstan, but obviously in uh, Denmark, it's a different ball game. The next game, I think the betting should be closer. Greece and the Republic of Ireland. Steve, what's the Republic of Ireland, the opener? They lost 1 0 to France, they conceded late. I like what I've seen from them. Greece, you know, some good players. I know there'll be plenty of goals, but I think Ireland can get something. What do you think? Yeah, I, think, I mean, look, Greece have won their one and only game, but that was uh, against Gibraltar, where obviously yeah. uh, everybody is expected to be. I think the Republic will give them a good game. I think Greece probably just starts as favourites. I wouldn't be surprised if they get, get a point there. Yeah, I'm impressed with those Irish youngsters. Yeah. Kosovo, Romania, Steve, how do you see it? Yeah, I think Romania uh, a couple of wins. I think that uh, Romania should be too strong. They got one, two good young players. I think that they'll. Uh, for me, I think they'll win that. Do you? I think the draws a player. I watch because of a player. They've got a lot of young, fiery players in the team, and uh, I think it'll be a few goals. But I like the draw in that particular clash. North Macedonia, Ukraine. Steve, I had a bet on the Germans to beat them and both teams to score on Monday. It ended up 3 all. I was really impressed with the Ukrainians. 9 to 10. I know North Macedonia, they qualified, was it? They qualified for the Euros. I think there'll be plenty of goals, but it should be the Ukraine for me. Every game they play is, is on neutral. Yeah, Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Ukraine are definitely favourites, but North Macedonia at home are fairly strong. I mean, yeah. we know from their World Cup campaign, uh, you know, gave Italy uh, a black eye. Yeah. So I think that's going to be, I think it'd be a close <laughs> game. I wouldn't be at all surprised yeah. if there was going to be an upset. You know, that could be one of them. Uh, okay. Well, surely too strong for Armenia? Yes. Oh, yeah, no question. I would think so. You know, Wales, Wales, Wales. Wales with a, that point against Croatia and I think that uh, they should be clear favourites with this yeah no doubt Bulgaria 12 to 10 Steve looks a bit short but Lithuania on the team they used to be which way do you see it going though? I fancy the draw yeah I mean yeah I mean Bulgaria I mean as you say it's a bit short they've not had a good start themselves I mean yeah. lost both conceded four without scoring uh, Lithuania haven't scored you know, this has got nil nil written all over it yeah, only thing yeah, is this yeah. when you lost to Serbia, so that brings them into the game. But uh, yeah, <laughs> Bulgaria, yeah, so that was Stojkov and all those boys. Yeah, 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 Hadji. Hadji was Romania. Was he Romania? He'd go what? past anybody. Oh, he's a brilliant player. Steve, I fancy Azerbaijan to win at home against Estonia. Which way do you see it going there? Azerbaijan had uh, have had one really big defeat. Uh, lost both their games, conceded nine goals already. Mm. Estonia uh, have lost lost their own game, but it's a tight. I'm not sure that Azerbaijan should start as clear favourites. Uh, you know, I mean, both of these teams are going to finish rock bottom of the group. Yeah. It's a tough group, and I think that. Uh, we'll they just edge it, but I could see a draw here as well. Yeah. Now, this, uh, Azerbaijan were on, they lost to Austria and Belgium, and I thought they were quite competitive, even though they did get well beat. And at home, the record isn't too bad. And Estonia, poor Travers, I'm all over Azerbaijan. Hungary, Steve, 11 to 10 against Montenegro? Yeah, I mean, Montenegro are not a bad side, but I, yeah. I like Hungary. I think they're a decent side. Um, and for me, I, I fancy that as an away win. Do you? Uh, just so you know, I know they, they did beat, uh, was it Bulgaria? Got the notes there, so you got a chance. But I watched Montenegro, they drew one all with one of the better teams in the qualifiers. I think this got draw written all over it, Steve. They've got that thug that plays for Real Atletico Madrid at the back. He kicked, I think yeah. it's Savage. You know, it's great, no. Savage, yeah, not Savage. Jeez, he yeah. takes no prisoners. And at home, I think that's a tight game. Steve, Norway, Scotland. Good game. How do you see it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure Norway is being their favourites. I mean, Scotland uh, have had a fantastic start in the group, especially beating Spain. Mm. You know, Norway, we know who they got up front, but, uh, I mean, that boy was uh, partying for three days. Yeah. Left uh, on the field. So, I, I think Scotland should get something that yeah. hold them. I say, this is a different Scotland than before. They're, you know, they're hard to pay them. Yeah, I think uh, I agree. Holland will come poncing in here, and those Scotsmen will be kicking lumps out of him. He had a knock before the game. I think Scotland, you're right, Steve. Eight to ten, Scotland win and draw. 
Totally agree with you on that game. Now, Belgium, I think, will destroy Austria. I know Austria have had a good start, but I watch Belgium. It's a new-look team. I don't know if De Bruyne and Lukaku are playing. Who's the coach of Belgium now? Uh, Who got no, the job, Steve? Know. Steve, any idea on the new coach? No, I don't know either. It was no, Martinez. He left. Oh, yeah. Martinez went to South no, Korea or somewhere. No, no, Martinez no, went to I, Portugal. I, I, I don't Portugal. think De Bruyne... I, De Bruyne, I don't think yeah, will play. I'm not sure De Bruyne is... No, I don't think so. Look, there's no reason why Lukaku shouldn't play, whether he starts. But as you say, I mean, Belgium, you know, had a really poor World Cup. So yeah. uh, they've started, you know, with their one win and their one game in the group so far. I think you're right. I mean, Austria have had a good start, to be fair. And they're, they're not a bad side, but I think Belgium should be too strong at home. Yeah, Belgium okay. start, I watched it. They beat Sweden 3-0. They really looked a decent team. They've, They've got, got the youngster at the back, the Marlon Vertong and the old crew are out. And uh, I think good things at uh, 6 to 10. Cyprus, Georgia. I fancy Georgia, Steve. Georgia I've watched uh, <laughs> You know, I fancy I've watched them a couple of times. I know away from home it's a lot more difficult, but I think even money's not a bad bet. How do you see it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like bad. The, the, the Georgia, I don't think, travel too well either. So I think uh, a draw is probably not, so, uh, you know, not a bad show. Yeah, I watched Georgia draw one all in Norway, and I thought they really played well, deserved to win. Cyprus, I can't have, so you've got to take a chance in some of these teams, so I'm chancing Georgia. Georgia. Iceland, Slovakia, Steve, tight game. Which way do you see it going? Yeah, it will be, and, and uh, Slovakia have had a decent start. I mean, Iceland, uh, again, one of these teams, they're sort of very decent at home. Um, but, but Slovakia you know, are quite a strong side, it'll be hard to beat. I wouldn't be surprised if they get something there, Slovakia. Yeah, I think it ends in a draw. I think there'll be a couple of goals, though, but uh, draw in Slovakia for me. And Portugal 1-5, to five, Steve. Will Ronaldo yeah. score another couple of goals? Well, you know, you can't bet against it. I mean, they should be they should be comfortable winners, Portugal. Yeah, I want to you can't try. see anything else. You know, they got such a such a, a strong squad. Um, you know, you'd expect them to, to win comfortably. Yeah, you know, there were there are other games, but with England at playing Malta and France playing at one to a hundred, you know, I eliminated them and I worked it out. There were six teams. <laughs> if I did a multiple, it would work out at even money, which I think is shocking. But uh, so I've left those yeah. out. Steve, uh, on to the MLS in America. We have uh, six games there. Yeah. There was one game last night where Los Angeles lost 1-0 at home to Houston. I saw the highlights. They were woeful. Yeah. I don't know what's happened since they've come back from their Champions League against the North America, the Mexican team. But uh, we kick off with uh, New York City who are struggling against Columbus. How do you see it? Yeah, I mean, New York City have been struggling. and They've... Uh have won three in a row you know they're looking fairly decent I'm not sure that New York City warrant starting as clear favourites I yeah. think Columbus could get something there yeah so do I but you just never know unbeaten at eight and as we said last week the home form is crazy yeah. but uh you know, they've got to turn it around sometime, otherwise that manager is going to get the bullet. DC United, I watched the highlights. Ben Teke scored an absolute screamer last week. On side, Ben Teke. Wayne Rooney's a manager. Real Salt Lake, funny team. They score goals left, right, and DC center. United, is Wayne Rooney Wayne still Rooney's there? Wayne Rooney's the manager there. He's gone back there. There's goals in there, Steve. What I saw last week, it should be DC United, but Real Salt Lake away from home haven't got a bad record. I went for goals here, Steve, but. Which way do you see it going? Yeah, I think that, uh, I mean, Real had a mixed season. They've conceded a lot of goals. Yeah. Uh, I think at home, DC United should be favourites. Yeah. Uh, I think that they, they probably should just... So you're on DC United. Yeah, the line seems to be a bit straight. Uh, yeah, I think, the team, I think, I think, I for me. Yeah, okay. New England, Steve, 8-10. to 10, Great home record. Orlando City, they got a good result last week, but the other team had a player, I think they beat Dallas. The other, Dallas had a player sent off early, so it masked the result. I'm all over New England here, Steve. How do you see it? Yeah, I, I think so. I think they should start. They've won quite a few games. I think New England should start as favourites. Orlando, as you say, had a deep They've not lost any of the last five, but I think of the two, I think New England will be a little bit too strong for them, but I think it's going to be a tight game. Yeah, six wins and three draws in the last nine home league games, so I'm all over. Oh, 
New England. Sporting Kansas City, Steve, I've gone for goals in my bet. I can't believe how bad Los Angeles have been the last two games. They haven't scored. They did score last night, but the guy was a mile offside. Sporting Kansas City, good home form. I'm looking towards the home team here. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, we would have said uh, Los Angeles all day long. You yeah. know, I, I was more than a bit last week and surprise home defeat again last night. So, you know, there's obviously something has happened since uh, their, uh, their North American sort of cup uh, exploits. So, you know, I can see why Sporting Kansas could be uh, could be favourites with this. I say they've won three of the last fours. Yeah. I think it'll be a decent game. Yeah, it should be. I think we got it on ESPN too, so I'll be taping it and watching it a bit later. Nashville are going well. Steve won the last four at home against the St. Louis team. They're one of the newer clubs. Had a bad run lately, St. Louis. I fancy Nashville, Steve. Is the betting give it away? Good things. Yeah, I, I think Nashville are, I mean, look, the, the St. Louis is still top. Yeah. yeah. Conference, but sort of not a bit. They, they, they have the last couple of results have not been good. Yeah. I know they did last week. Yeah. You know, they, they don't concede many goals at all. I think they've got one of the best, if not the best, defensive record in the whole of the MLS. Only conceded 12 and 17. So I think if they go ahead, Nashville, they should hold on and win it. Yeah, home form. 6 to 10 is a bit short, but they should win. And San Jose, Portland, Steve. I'm all over San Jose. Seven wins of the last night at home. I think they'll beat Portland. But what do you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think Portland had a good win last week. Yeah. Good start as favourites. I mean, we say this every week, home form counts for a lot in the MLS. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, some if they're evenly matched. But when you look at their, you know, one team is winning all their home games, the other one's losing all their... Away games. So I think this is one of these sort of games that I think San Jose should start as favourites. Yeah, I'm all over San Jose. Steve, pressure time again. Your best bet and value yeah. bet, please. Uh, I'm going to go for my best. I'm going to go for Hungary. I, I like them, and I think that uh, they've got a good chance of winning away. And um, value bet, tough one, I think, this week. But I'm going to go for Slovenia. I think that I won both their games, and I yeah. think they could get another one. All right, Steve. I'm on San Jose in America. Just think the home form. The internationals is hard. And my value bet, I'm going yeah. in the Africa Cup of Nations. Cape Verde. They play on a pitch. They're called the Blue Sharks. You can't believe the pitch. It's an artificial pitch, and it's blue. <laughs> so well, those okay. are my two. But uh, I get this. Okay. Yeah. Steve, thanks very much. <laughs> we'll we'll speak to you a bit later when the, the pictures come out. There you go. Yeah. Well, it could okay. be. Cheers. Take bye. it easy, Steve. Bye bye. Right, Budge. I'm pleased that football and fixtures are coming out today. Yeah. We can start We're having a look. The last one standing trip, so That's let's see right. what's going on, yeah? AFCON results Wednesday, but yeah. South Sudan. Yeah, I actually watched that game, Paul. It was on at 3 o'clock. I had a bet. I just sort of got to have an interest when I'm watching. I mean, both teams to score. Sheet. was yeah. over in quick time, 13 Two, to 10. 2-3. So well done. Few beers. Yeah, they scored last minute. <clears throat> to win 3-2. A good game, Paul. And Guinea-Bissau beat, is it South? Satoma, yeah, Ireland 1-0. Big result for them, Paul. Puts them in a great chance and to Guinea qualify. And lost to Egypt. Yeah, Egypt, Egypt decent big team. team, yeah. Yeah, big, big team, yeah. So now we've got the uh, qualifiers coming up. They start Saturday at so 3. Saturday, Paul, we'll, uh, we'll pull it up now. CAO versus Angola. Yeah. Paul, I like the home team. I can't believe the betting is that way. You know, we took 9-10. Uh, to 10. CAR. What's in play? Bafana at Central African Republic. They're okay. in the desert. And okay. uh, they don't get beat at home, Paul. I don't know how this team can be 9 to 10. Maybe they know something more than me. You know, Angola, now they beat them one nil at home in the first game. You know, so it's going to be tight between them. A draw is a player, Paul. Yeah. Just can't see Angola winning at, at 9 to 10. So a draw and CAR for me. Problem with Ivory Coast, Paul, is that they've already qualified. Okay. And Zambia, they need a point to get through. So I think the draw is a player. Draws you know, Ivory Coast, a lot of good players. But, you know, maybe they'll rest them until you see, actually see the teams. Yeah, you don't But know, uh, you, you don't, don't know, that's the yeah. problem. But I don't see Zambia getting beat. You know, likewise, you know, Tunisia, you know, good team, Paul. You yeah, know, even team. money away good from team. home. But Equatorial Guinea, you know, they need a point to qualify. They won both their home games too. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, they need a uh, point. So, Paul, it'd be very tight, under two and a half goals. I think the draw's a player. But very difficult to really, we don't see much of these teams. Yeah, how, but, how will our Muppets go against Morocco? Well, the problem is we both qualified because uh, Zimbabwe were in our group and they got banned. 
<laughs> and uh, we won our last game away from home. So uh, we beat Liberia. So we both go through Morocco, Paul. They drew against Cape Verde on Monday. But they've got players, Paul. In the World Cup, they finished fourth. They've got so players, they're and uh, I think they're rose South, South Africa. Well. I well, think we took twelve to ten, both teams to score. You just don't know with these teams coming out after a long guy, half season. Yeah, uh, come through. What's his name? Tao, Percy Tao, come Percy through. Percy Tao, he'll be here. He'll be here. He's a good player. No, he's a good player, Paul. Al Ali, yeah. they'll all be here, Paul. Yeah. But uh, you just never know what's going on. But uh, for me, Morocco, the better team, but. We went both teams to score. No pressure on other teams, so I'll have a go. Okay, Senegal, about... top team. Well, I think they are the best team Even in Africa. Money. Gee, there's a good price, but Good you? price. I think Mane should be playing. But, you know, in Benin. How good are Benin? No, struggling. They've got to get a result to have any chance so of qualifying. But uh, Senegal. Money, Senegal, sure. That's a good price, Got to see the team, but, but uh, Senegal okay. should be. What about the island? Madagascar. Madag I fancy Ghana, Paul. Ghana played well in the World Cup. Yeah, yeah they, they, they've got they it. If they win, they'll, they win, they qualify. So uh, okay. six to ten. I know Madagascar always difficult away from home, but six to ten Ghana. It should be now Algeria top team. They've already qualified. Paul Uganda playing a terrible pitch. It's artificial. And I've seen them play. For me, it's win and draw. Uganda. They can't afford to get beat. Yeah, yeah you just don't know. It works both ways. Will Algeria pressure off? Go and slaughter them. So, so but teams uh, that are qualified, there's every chance they'll throw in young no, players. No, they're going to play the youngsters. It, it, it might not deplete them too. No, you know? no. Well, the young the guys are going to go have a go. They want to show it up. Yeah. yeah so it's difficult. Okay. Not, Nigeria, Paula, they need a point to go through. I can't trust Nigeria. Four to they, ten. They're four to ten because Syria alone are so bad. Yeah. But uh, Nigeria, Paul, they need a point. So I don't see them getting beat. But the exotics. I wouldn't banker them, you know, okay. go it's drawn short away. to take a banker, short yeah. Yeah. You know, Cape Verde, Paul, Burkina Faso, but they've won all their group games. They have qualified Burkina Faso. You know, I like Cape Verde. I've seen them play a couple of times. The result in Morocco, 0-0 was a good game, even though they got outplayed. They're my value bet, Paul, 15 to 10. I'm chancing them this weekend. Congo, Mali. Both teams Close can't game. afford to lose. 17 Close to 10, game. the draw yeah. gives it away, Paul. Mali yeah. got some nice players. They all play in the French League. But uh, a draw is my bet there, a draw in Mali. All right, what are your soccer picks, both? Yeah, Paul, uh, it's the, all on Saturday. First game I'm going, Central African Republic win and draw at home against Angola. Siding with another home team looking for the upset. Zambia win and draw against the Ivory Coast. I don't see Tunisia losing an Equatorial Guinea. And I don't know how, I don't see Bafana Bafana beating Morocco. So I've got Morocco win and draw. I'm chancing Botswana to be too strong at home for Libya, third against fourth in a poor group. And I'm going for Scotland. I think this upset written all over it. Scotland win and draw in Norway, 192. Okay, okay. 192. On to the other soccer six. Yeah. I'm going Azerbaijan to be too good for Estonia. The field in the Norway-Scotland game, banking Albania to beat Moldova. So basically for that pitch, you've got to get Azerbaijan, Albania, and Georgia. And, Georgia, and, yeah. you get and the then money. I'm looking for the three upset. Yeah. Other yeah. games are tight, Paul. So three bankers, three. I've gone looking for the upset with Senegal. Bank for them. Well, you know, purely because they've qualified and there's yeah. no pressure on them. And they will okay. more than likely play okay. a weekend team. So 162, three bankers, three fields. So 10. On to the soccer 10. Yeah, I'm going a banker. Azerbaijan, I went win and draw Azerbaijan, as I think there's better bankers lower down. The field in the Montenegro, Hungary game. Likewise, Norway and Scotland, the field in that particular match. I'm bankering Albania to beat Moldova. I've thrown the draw in with Georgia against Cyprus, win and draw Georgia. I'm bankering the Czech Republic to beat the Faroe Islands, Belgium to beat Austria. I've sided with Slovakia, win and draw in Iceland. The Portuguese should be too good at home against Bosnia-Herzegovina. I'm taking a chance, New York City, win and draw at home against the Columbus Crew, 288. The big one. Soccer 13, a few dodgy ones at the bottom. I'm banking Belgium to beat Austria. The field in the Norway, Scotland and Iceland, Slovakia games. I'm going Montenegro, win and draw against Hungary, banking Azerbaijan to beat Estonia, Albania to beat Moldova, and Georgia to beat Cyprus. Onto the second page, the Czech Republic should be too good against the Faroe Islands, and so should Portugal, home against Bosnia, Herzegovina. In the, in the Segunda Spanish League, this is a playoff final. The first leg was nil-nil, but uh, it'll be another tight game. But I don't see Levante losing at home against Deportiva Alaves. And then three Swedish games. United, Nordic, too good against Hammerby. I'm going Dal Kurd, win and draw at Tabby. And Eskels Mina, win and draw at home against Falkensburg, 288. Okay, what's the biggest club in the world? 
Bromer Hodgkana. Their top right. goal scorers play a Tajrik, uh, somebody he plays for Cape, he played for Cape Town Spurs, youngster. <laughs> Scored a couple of goals last week. Good man. Good luck to him. Right, Budgie's best yeah, bets. Paul, you know, very tricky with the internationals, so yeah, obviously yeah. a few chances here and there. I'm going Scotland plus one handicap. So that's either Scotland to win or draw. But it's just slightly better odds, the plus one handicap okay. than the double chance. I'm going Azerbaijan, uh, Georgia to win. And I'm going Belgium to beat Austria and over two and a half goals, 3,200 to 200. Uh, both teams to score sides, I'm going Azerbaijan, Belgium and Georgia all to score over one and a half goals and Portugal to score over two and a half goals. 2,900 to 200. You'll be playing. Yep, no doubt about that. Both teams to score. Both teams to score. These are from the Friday games, Paul. It's Friday, Saturday. So these are the Friday fixtures. I'm going Belarus, Israel, Greece and Ireland. Finland, Slovenia, and North Macedonia, Ukraine, 3,000 to 200. Our African quartet, I'm going the Central African Republic, plus one handicap against Angola. Both teams to score, South Africa versus Morocco. And I'm going Cape Verde to beat Burkina Faso and Ghana to beat Madagascar, 3,200 to 200. Right, the MLS. Into America Father. with the MLS, I'm going Nashville to beat St. Louis, New England to beat Orlando City, and San Jose to beat Portland Timbers. And over two and a half goals in the DC United Real Salt Lake and Sporting Kansas City Los Angeles games. Los Three thousand non-scorers. The non-scorers non last two weeks, but Sporting will score a couple, so we say three thousand four hundred to two hundred. And I call us King Six or Nixa. Yeah. I'm going Israel to beat Belarus, Wales to beat Armenia, Belgium to beat Austria, Georgia to beat Cyprus. Portugal to beat Bosnia Herzegovina and New England to beat Orlando City, 3,100 to 200. Excellent, bud. Excellent. And just reiterating the, the, the fixtures for the Premier League come out today. 9 o'clock UK time, 10 o'clock our time. 10 o'clock so, our uh, time. Excellent. Okay, well, that's good news. Budge will, uh, until next time, stay on side.